All right, so I might be the shortest person here, so we'll see if I can actually talk into this microphone. Um, so hi everyone, I'm Ben Weber, uh, one of the co-founders of uh, Humanize, which spun out of the research uh, here in the Human Dynamics Group. And actually just wanted to start out um, with a question here, because um, this sort of is why we started the company. I'm curious how many people here have been at a company that has made a dumb people decision? And I mean that like pretty broadly. Like did, it, okay. Bad reorder. So it's basically everybody, okay? And if you didn't raise your hand, you're probably lying to yourself, um, for being honest, or you didn't work at a company before, which is also possible. Um, but again, that, that's really fascinating, right? The idea that companies spend, I mean, literally hundreds of millions of dollars a year on you know, reorganizations, on doing a merger acquisition, uh, on building new offices. And the reason that they fail so much of the time, even though they're investing that much money, is that at a fundamental level, they don't actually understand what's going on internally, right? And we all don't understand what's going on internally, right? Like, I, I could ask you very simple questions about each one of your workplaces that you cannot answer, right? Like, you don't even know if you're in a big technology company, I mean, how much time does management spend with the engineering team? Right? You don't know how many, even, even how many hours people work. And you think about how simple those questions are, how critical they are. And the reason we can't answer them is we don't have data. Right? But of course, today, there's not more and more data about work. There's email, chat, meeting data, increasingly sensor data about the real world. And from that, what we're able to do is actually understand what goes on internally and then answer and solve some fundamental questions that companies have. And I mean, the way to think of this is the same evolution that, for example, baseball went through you know, 150 years ago, right? Because you used to have a bunch of old guys who knew a lot about baseball, watched people play baseball, and then they'd base, uh, make a decision, and then you move to the Brad Pitt, I mean, the Moneyball model, no, <laughs> um, where they say, no, we're going to use data to make those decisions. And so what we've done is build a technology platform that essentially does this uh, for our customers, uh, which are some of the largest organizations in the world, um, which essentially what we do is we hook into data that they already have about what goes on, and again, not looking at content, but looking at the flows of communication and how people spend time, going even into the physical world and looking at how people interact face to face, to be able to give insight into really the large people decisions that they're constantly grappling with in terms of figuring out, you know, where should we locate our workforce? Um, you know, are, we're, we're doing an agile transformation. Is it actually working? Where isn't it working? Right? And this is something where, I mean, at this point, we've deployed globally across every single employee at some of the largest companies in the world. And we can point to lots of case studies about um, how they've improved operations. I mean, interesting things that, for example, an oil and gas company where, um, again, like a single day's delay um, in an oil shipment costs you know, some ungodly amount of money um, and higher emissions and all these other things. And What's fascinating is that companies like that have these incredibly complex processes, but understanding how the human dynamics of those teams actually interacts with where those teams are located, they've been able to um, pretty dramatically improve um, efficiency there. So lots of other stuff we can talk about. Um, feel free to find me out there. Um, thanks for your time.